What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, bring you guys a rank regulation F video where we showcase Reggie Gagas. Now, Reggie Gagas is a top tier, very, very strong Pokemon with insane stats. The only thing holding it back is its slow start ability. So today, we're pairing it up with Neutralizing Gas Weezing to cancel out that ability, giving Reggie Gagas its full stats and making it overpowered. Reggie Gagas has the Ghost Terror type alongside with the Life Orb as item, then it's rocking Body Slam for stab, high horsepower, and ice punch for coverage. And last but not least, it has protect. Like I mentioned, we have Weezing here. Weezing is going to be great pairing up with Reggie Gagas, taking all abilities off the field. It's got Citrus Berry as item with Sludge Bomb, Protect, Taunt, and Will-O-Wisp. We also have Latios in today's video, a cool regulation F Pokemon with Levitate and then its signature item, the Soul Dew. It's got Draco Meteor, Luster Purge, which is a new move that it learns, Tailwind, and Protect. In our fourth slot, we got Incineroar. Incineroar is so solid on regulation F Ladder, can intimidate, can fake out, can pretty much do it all. This one's a pretty normal build with fake out, foil blitz, knock off, and parting shot, rocking the Figgy Berry, and obviously intimidate as its ability. And our final two slot is going to be the best of friends. It's Dragonite, it's Shen Pao. You guys seen that plenty of times. Super, super strong. Pair them up together, have Dragonite go into E speed. It does insane amount of damage. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's showcase Reggie Gigas in Regulation F. First match coming at you guys. We are going up against Meta Pokemon. They got Fluttermane, they got Entei. They're also rocking out with. Rillaboom, Urshifu, Landorus, and Tornado. So we could potentially just go into Regigigas and Weezing, right? We could. We could. Those stats are really, really strong. Love this Pokemon so much. For five turns, its attack and speed stats are half. Come on, man. We don't like that at half. But yeah, I might just lead Weezing and Regigigas here. Could be, could, could be pretty good. Or I could go into Incineroar. Maybe just Intimidate alongside mm, no i like wheezing and regigigas so we're gonna lead Re wheezing regigigas and then in the back end we're gonna go dragonite shen pal that seems pretty good for us not too bad if they throw off physical attackers we could burn them other than that how are we gonna play this one how are we gonna play this one dragonite shen pal super solid especially for late game first turn priority always good all around i was gonna bring in latios here but i like the team that we're bringing I definitely do, but looking to showcase Regigigas should be a good matchup here. The only problem with using Regigigas, my one flaw with this team, is it usually is predictable. We usually know who they're going to lose at all times. So at that point, usually our opponents will counter it. But they end up going into Landorus and Tornadus, which they have no ability. So Prankster's not there, there. Sheer Force isn't there. I'm trying to think of moves that they potentially have to do some big time damage onto me. And it's not looking like it's anything crazy, right? So from here, I could just start throwing burns, but I think I'm just going to protect Weezing right now because the ground move coming into it is looking a little scary. And then maybe just going into Ice Punch into this slot, looking to KO the Lando, right? Four times super effective. Let's look to just rip up into it. So I would think it would be going for a ground move, right? So I'm just going to protect the Weezing. You want to keep Weezing on the field as long as you can, really helping out the Regigigas. So Sans here Storm is going to fly. We are going to block it. And Regigigas is going to take a little bit of damage here. Almost half, but he's chilling. He is chilling. So he's going to lose some HP due to Life Orb and Ice Punch is going to come across here. I'm going to say bye bye to you. Get it on out my face. We dump onto that Pokemon. Let's see what Tornado goes into from here. Let's see what he's going into. He's just going to go into a Rain Dance. So he's looking to bring out Urshifu, right? Makes the most sense. So Urshifu is probably going to come out here. I actually really hope that I outspeed him, right? There's a hot chance that I do. No, you're going to bring out. Fluttermane. Fluttermane's a little odd. Fluttermane is definitely a little odd, but from here, I'm just going to start ripping into Fluttermane. So I'm going to do that, and I could protect from here. I could Terrastalize and Ghost, but my best bet would just be to go into, like, Ice Punch or something into, into these Pokemon. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start attacking. I'm going to save my Terra for my Pokemon in the back end. It's not going to lie, Fluttermane's looking scary. Shadow Ball's going to fly, and he's going to go into the Weezing slot here, which I do not mind. Because Weezing soaks. Ice Punch is going to fly, big time damage into Tornadus. We love it. So we lose some Life Orb HP, Bleak Windstorm now flies, Regigigas and Weezing now soak. And from here, we might as well just let them both die out, right? We might as well, right? Could, we could. Sludge Bomb's now going to fly. Can we get a Poison? 
Any chance of a poison? Oh, we get the poison. We get the poison. That's beautiful. It's a nice, lovely poison. It's a nice, beautiful poison. So poison gonna chunk up some damage on the flutter main. That's big time for us. And from here, I could just try to go for a sludge bomb into this slot, or I could taunt it. I think they set up Tailwind here, right? Tailwind just makes the most sense. I think we go Sludge Bomb and we just try to attack, right? Yeah, I'm cool with doubling down into this thing. Just trying to make sure this thing drops out. So he ends up going for another Shadow Ball, which is weird. That's weird. That's weird, because Weezing couldn't be able to survive, and I still outspeed him. So Reggie Gagas picking up another KO, doing some big-time work here in match number one. So if I had to guess, they probably have... They probably have Urshifu on the back end, right? Sludge Bomb gonna come out here, chunk up some nice damage. We love it. We love it. This thing could be choice into Shadow Ball. Thinking it could have been able to pick up a KO on the me. And no, it's not. What was the point of the Rain Dance? What was the Rain Dance for? That makes no sense now. Rain has made me think that they had Urshifu. But from here, what do I even do? I guess I just try to get rid of Flutterman. I could double protect. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna double protect here, just to make sure that the poison does some damage, takes out the Flutter main in probably two turns, and then we can have Shen Pao Arcanine come out, or not Shen Pao Arcanine, Shen Pao Dragon come out here, and really just finish off today's match, or our first match. The double protect comes out here, there's an E-Speed flying out from Entei, Shadow Ball's gonna KO the Weezing, but hey, I just need some poison turns, because I believe two poisons finish off the Letter main, which is a big threat to our squad. A big threat to our team. There's poison number one. Yeah, number two is gonna KO it. I love me some poison. I love me some poison. So from here, we're just gonna let our Pokemon go down here. I'm gonna go into a high horsepower. I'm gonna go into a sludge bomb, and they just end up canceling the battle. Our first match went perfectly. Rocked out with Reggie Gigas on the rank ladder and grabbed ourselves a sweep. Pretty dope, pretty dope. But we're going up against an even tougher team here in match number two. They got Shen Pao, they got Dragonite. They got Entei, they got Raging Bolt, four Pokemon that absolutely thrive with Shen Pao. Then last two Pokemon, they got Ogre Pond and Lander. So this one is definitely going to be tough for us. I could take out abilities and maybe just lead the Regiegas. That's not too shabby for us, right? Because at that point, I could just start throwing burns. But what Pokemon could they go in there to kind of counter my Regiegas? I would think maybe like Shen Pao. That could be a little tough, but you know what? I think we should go into this. I think we should just take all abilities off the field. I think it's a great idea for me. I really do. I really do. So I'm going to go into both of them. I think in the back end, we just go in with same squad, right? I think we just go in with same squad. I could go into Latios if I want to, but I just feel as our Pokemon are going to have a lot of value, especially late game up against them. So you know what? We're going in with same squad, same lead, same everything. I'm looking to go back to back here and win our first two matches. <clears throat> but Pokemon, I can see them leading would be Shen Pao, would be like a Dragonite, but in that case, I could just go into a Ghost Terror type and dodge E speeds, but then we would have to straight up just attack Shen Pao and get rid of it. And yeah, they're gonna go into Entei. So Entei and, and Shen Pao come out here. So the thing about this is I wanna Terrastalize I want to terrestrialize Regigigas here because they have Sacred Sword probably and E Speed. Two moves that can do some damage onto me. But at that point, we were going to have to just straight up attack this Shen Pao because I would need to get rid of the Shen Pao because it has Sucker Punch. It does have Sucker Punch. So I really do like this Terror type and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in High Horsepower. Actually, not High Horsepower. Body Slam here with the Terror type and the Shen Pao. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Could they be doubling down the Weezing? Maybe, probably not. I wouldn't think so. I think they go straight after my Regigigas. So I'm gonna Terrasize. We're gonna hope, fingers crossed, that Shen Pao's not Terrasizing. And it doesn't look like it because Regigigas would probably slow down. So we're gonna go into this Ghost Terror type. We're gonna hope Sacred Sword's coming in this slot. And on top of that, we're hoping this Shen Pao's not protecting so we can just KO it, right? Yep, there's the Sacred Sword. So great call from me. Dropping the Terror type. We getting after this thing now. Body Slam coming in hot here. Doing some big time damage with the paralyzed too, bringing this thing down to focus ash. So are you e-speeding in, in this slot too? No, because that would have came out first. He's gonna go for a sacred fire. No burns allowed. No burns allowed. That damage is absurd. And uh, cool, no burns allowed. So that's massive for us. So they can't go and e-speed into me. 
huge, huge. And if they throw out a physical attacker, I am just going to start burning them, right? But this time, I kind of just want to go after Enten. Because we, we take out that Chen Pao. That's huge. That is huge. Raging Bolt now flies out here. A little bit of a threat to me. Tad bit of a threat. Um. Huh. What do I do from here? Because first turn priorities are just a problem. Thunderclap's going to KO me. I think I just start throwing these sludge bombs around looking for poisons. Could actually throw a burn onto this thing, but he's special attacking. I could taunt it and not gonna do much. I have anything to kind of deal with that. Dang, that secret fire just did so much damage. That's just my only problem. But you know what, from here, I'm just gonna sludge bomb the Entei. Actually, let's sludge bomb the Raging Bolt. And just protect. Let's just protect you right now. It ends up withdrawing on Entei, that's fine. So Entei gets to withdraw. I think Thunderclap's gonna come into the slot, correct? And Lando's gonna come closer. The Lando comes out here. He doesn't have sheer force right now, which is great. He does not have sheer force. And a Thunderclap is coming into the slot. Okay. So it's gonna fail. The chance are he's gonna do that again. Sludge Bomb gonna come through here. Poisons? Oh my god, Weezing with the poisons today. Get after it. Get after it, my guy. Get after it. Get after it with the poisons. The poison's gonna chunk up. It does have leftovers, but I believe poison does a bit more damage than leftovers does recover. So, that's a good poison. That's a great poison. From here, we're just gonna try to get another poison. Actually, we might just burn this thing. Just start throwing status conditions left and right. I could protect again and just leave this Pokemon on the field. They could go for Sans here, Storm, which might be a possibility. So, you know what? I'm just gonna high horsepower this time. Actually, I'd rather Ice Punch you. Yes, I'd rather Ice Punch this thing. But he ends up going into Thunderclap and my Reggie Gigas does die out. Womp womp. Reggie Gigas dead. Yeah, maybe I should have maybe I should have just tried protecting again. I was gonna do that. But I think this thing's going into like a Sansier Storm, regardless. No, it goes for Earth Power. Earth Power comes through, and they end up just picking up the double KO. So not bad turns from Reggie Gigas and Weezy. Not bad turns. Because we get a poison off, we get rid of their Shen, Shen Pao. Neutralizing gas is gone, but I get to bring out back end studs right back end studs coming out here. back end studs are here so i do have choice band you and i got you with the ghost terra type um from here we know shen pao outspeed so we might just want to attack that lando but he could terrestrialize the lando which would be a little bit of an issue just a little bit of an issue who would i want to terrestrialize here probably you Oh, I already used my Terra. It hurts the soul. What do I choice ban into? Probably Stomping Tantrum, right? Because going up against Entei and Raging Bolt, I think Stomping Tantrum is going to be our play. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to rock an Ice Spinner here. And I'm going to get after you. I totally forgot to use our Terra already. Even though Regigigas thrived with it. So they're going to end up Terrasalizing probably the Lander. So maybe I should have made that read. Maybe I should have made that read, but actually Stomping Tantrum would be super effective if it's poison. And it is, so Stomping Tantrum is going to be super effective into every single Pokemon that they have from here on out. From here on out. Protect comes out from the Bolt. A little scary there. And Ice Spinner is going to fly here. So Ice Spinner gets cooking. Big time damage, which we love. And Sludge Bomb is going to fly. He's going for the Sludge Bomb into the Dragonite slot. And Dragonite soaks. Cool. No poisons? No poisons. Stomping Tantrum gets blocked. And from here... Hmm. That's where things get a little tough. That's where things get a little tough. Because he could Thunderclap my Dragonite and just KO it. He could definitely just Thunderbolt or Thunderclap my Dragonite and just KO it. The first turn priority was just... Hmm. Rough. It's real rough. When I get to go into this. Um, Ice Spinner will just KO you again. Do I just double down on Raging Bolt? Just make sure this thing goes down? Yeah, I'm cool with that. We'll double down on Raging Bolt. Lando's gonna protect. Okay, so Lando protects here. Hopefully no Thunderclap's coming out here. And it is Thunderclap. Can you soak? Yeah, no shot. So you don't soak. Now Shen Pao's sitting in an awkward position. Yeah, we really needed our dragon right there. Really need our dragon. Ice Spinner flies. Gonna KO Raging Bolt. And now it's a 2v1. So again, really weird position where I don't think we can win this. We still have Focus Ash, which is good. 
We can finish off Lando here, but Sacred Fire just that damage is absurd. Sacred Fire and E Speed. Yeah, we're not we're not beating the Sentai. We're not beating the Sentai. I needed my Dragonite. I needed my Dragonite. But from here, we're just gonna finish off you. They're both threats to me, and we'll see what Entei does. Maybe Entei protects. Maybe it does something stupid and they give me a win here. That would be awesome. But yeah, it's not looking good. He could just Sacred Fire me. He can speed me. A lot of different options here. Maybe he misses a Sacred Fire. You never know. You never know. So Ice Spinner's gonna fly. We're gonna say bye bye to Lando. This is such a good matchup. Bye bye to Lando. And from here, Entei, what are you doing? Sacred Fire. We got to focus Ash. But again. They got ESP. Just too big of a threat. We can't sucker punch before that or anything. So, and they get the burn and just finish it off here regardless. So, that's the game. Match number two going to our opponent. Dying out to a burn here. What a solid second match. We're one and one. Let's go hop to our third. Final match coming at you guys, and hopefully this is a viewer to the channel. My last video, I uploaded Reggie Steel. Now I'm using Reggie Gagas, but the, our opponent is using the exact same rental code that I showcased in my last Reggie Steel video. So hopefully, applause. If you're a viewer, let me know in the comment section down below. We'd love to talk to you. But um, this is the final match here. They got Reggie Steel. I know exactly what this team does. It has iron defense. They can maybe lead in Cinewar to try to get after it that way. But um, someone who I would want to go into would be this Regigigas combo again. I just think it works out super, super well. I can always terrestrialize and dodge fake outs to dodge body presses. I love it all around. So I'm going to go into both of these guys. And then in the back end, we might throw a little curveball on, right? Maybe go into Latios. Who could set up Tailwind, who is rather fast. And on top of that, we could go into Incineroar. Or we could just go into Shen Pao by itself. Shen Pao by itself is actually not bad at all. You got Secret Sword, you got Sucker Punch. I like it a lot. So you know what? That's exactly what we're gonna do. All those Pokemon, lock them in, lock them down. We could have obviously went into Dragonite and Chen Pao made this match a little bit easier for us. But I'm tired of using it. I'm tired of using it. I'd rather use Latios here. I'd rather use Latios. Consider I don't think I use Latios in regulation app. Maybe I gotta do a full Latios video for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. But I end up going Incineroar. Ooh. Actually, oh, they don't have Intimidate. This works fine. This works fine. So they go into these two Pokemon. And Neutralizing Gas is on the field. So from here, I am just going to Terrasilize to dodge any sort of fake out. And I could High Horsepower his Incineroar. Or I can go after Ogre Pound with Body Slam. And I'm kind of thinking of just going after Ogre Pound with Body Slam. It just seems to pose a bit more of a threat. Because it could go for Follow Me too. So you know what? We're just going to go Body uh, Slam here. And on top of that... I'm just going to protect the Weezing in case they choose to attack this thing and take out the Neutralizing Gas. Yes, I like that. I like that. When I first saw Incineroar come out, I was like, oh man, he's going to intimidate me. But then I realized Weezing's got my back. No abilities on the field. No abilities out here. So they don't have Water Absorb, they don't have Intimidate. That's cool. That's such a cool ability. Neutralizing Gas. So we protect the Weezing. We want to protect it at all costs. Keep the Neutralizing Gas on the field. And he's going to end up going for a fake out into the Weezing slot. Maybe they're doubling down on the Weezing. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Body Slam going to come out here. Go after Ogre Pond and deal some big time damage. Go after the Weezing, please. No, you go after my Regigigas. But it's good to know that Regigigas is fastest on the field. It is very nice to know that. So from here, I could go for another Body Slam if I want to. But I think I'm just going to target down this thing. Go for high horsepower. Look for Sludge Bomb to actually finish off this Ogre Pond. I like that. I like that a lot. But what I think is going to end up happening here is we're going to do some big time damage on Incineroar. Unless he swaps. Unless he swaps. And actually, that works perfectly. That actually works perfectly. That actually works perfectly. Because high horsepower is going to bring this thing down to basically 1. About 5 HP. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And a Citrus Parry. <laughs> and Sludge Bomb is going to get blocked. So Incineroar... Let's see what you're doing. Knock off, take out the... Yeah, take out the Regigigas. That's fine. No big deal. So Regigigas gets off big time damage on the Ogre Pond and Incineroar. And Weezing's still sitting on the field here with Neutralizing Gas. So from here, a play that wouldn't be bad at all would be maybe to bring out Latios. Mm, I was going to say bring out Latios and just start attacking or set up a Tailwind. But a knockoff really does damage in Luster Purge can't attack a few of these guys. So, you know what? I'm just going to go into Shen Pao here. Make life a bit easier for me. 
and I'm just gonna go into Sacred Sword. Protect. Let's just protect this thing. Let's just protect in Sludge Bomb. The reason I want to do that is because I think Flare Blitz is gonna come in this slot, and I kind of want to get rid of Follow Me Ogre Pond, just so I can start attacking Shen Pao. So yeah, we're just gonna protect Shen Pao. I think they see that Pokemon as a bigger threat than anything. And we're gonna go from there. So protect coming out from Shen Pao. We need some big time turns from our Weezing here. And a Follow Me does come out. It's a great call for me just to protect because Flare Blitz is definitely going into that slot, right? Party shot. Okay, that works too. So he's trying to party shot, lower my stats. I'm not allowing that. I, I simply cannot allow that. Sludge Bomb should be able to finish off the Ogre Pond. Bye bye. So Weezing getting off a little bit of value here with its Sludge Bomb attacks. <clears throat> and actually, all video long, it's been killing it with Sludge Bombs. Poisons left and right. Big time damage. Love it. Weezing doing work. Weezing doing work. Then they bring out Registeel. Now, Registeel, a little odd of a Pokemon. But do I start attacking it now? Or do I just take out Incineroar? I think I take out Incineroar and I just taunt this thing, right? Can't really allow it to start setting up. Yeah, I can't really have it start setting up. So maybe Weezing out speeds, it might not because Registeel's kind of fast. It's, it might be faster than Weezing. But I hope not, right? Definitely hope not. So I would love a Sacred Sword, taunt that thing, allow it not to set up any iron defenses, and then just start attacking. So let's see how this one plays out. He's gonna end up Terrasilize. It's gonna be an Incineroar. Terra? No, it's gonna be Registeel. So Registeel's gonna Terrasilize. He's gonna go into straight water. Straight water. That's actually not a bad Terra. I mean, we knew we had the water Terra type. And Sacred Sword's gonna come through here and finish off Incineroar. So as long as Weezing out speeds and taunts, could be pretty solid for us, right? We do outspeed. Let me get off taunt. So hopefully you're going for iron defense. This should be the turn you go for it, right? Yeah. Awesome. Big time taunt. Yo, Weezing, chill on him. Yo, Weezing playing awesome today. I think Weezing's doing great. Doing so good. So now they bring out Fluttermane. Final Pokemon out and about. We could double down into it. We could definitely double down into it with a nice, lovely Sucker Punch. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. I think we go Sucker Punch. And I think we double down with Sludge Bomb. If I can get rid of this thing, I got a few good Pokemon to do some work on that. Yeah, you're not protected, Fluttermane. You are not protected. Awesome. Cool. Dope. Sucker Punch coming into that slot. That's a lean flying. Probably gonna take out my Shen Pao, right? Taking out my Shen Pao. You gotta be taking out my Shen Pao. Body press going into Shen Pao. Heavy Slam. You name it. Sludge Bomb flying from Weezing. And Weezing doing some damage. No poison zone. No poisons though, which is a little on the rougher side. A little on the rougher side. Oh, this match is gonna be close. You do have protect. You do have protect. Flutterman could protect here. I doubt it though, right? Now that it has speed. Now that Flutterman has speed, I think we just protect our Latios or Latios and then just sledge bomb the Flutterman again. Look for the KO. I'm cool with that. Flutterman, don't protect. Do not protect. Latios with the protect. I don't think Fluttermane protected, which could be good for us. Dazzling's gonna fly. Awesome. Awesome. Because now, now from here, Weezing gonna survive, and Sludge Bomb's gonna fly. The Sludge Bomb picking up the KO. So our best bet here might just be a, to throw a burn onto Regigigas and neutralize its, its, what's it called? Its leftovers, right? Taunt's gone. Um, we could taunt it again but honestly the special defense boost don't really or the defense boost don't really do anything i said we just go for a luster purge here so i'm gonna go luster purge i'm gonna look to just throw a burn onto this thing he wants to iron defense he can iron defense it's not that big of a deal the luster purge is gonna come out here do some nice damage special defense drop no we don't get the special defense drop but willow is, is flying so let's see how much damage this 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 guy does right Body Press shouldn't really be able to chunk up damage, but he's just gonna go for a heavy sun. Home. And I'm soaking all day. I'm soaking all day. Awesome. So Weezing actually clutching up in match number three. Regigigas did solid, but Weezing was the star in match number three. We love it, yo. Weezing picked up a KO onto the Ogre Pond, onto the Flutter Main. Um, did it finish off the Incineroar? No. Shen Pao ended up doing that. But still, 
amazing here. Amazing. You're taunting the Registeel here as well. So from here, I'm just going to go for another Luster Purge. Don't really want to lower my special attack just yet. And then double down with Sludge Bomb. But then end up just canceling battle. And we go 2-1 and grab you guys a winning record. This Reggie Gigas team right here, absolutely amazing. Love using this Pokemon. Love using this slow start with the neutralizing gas. Just works so perfectly. And then the Weezing on top of that, just such a solid Pokemon. You can taunt uh, support Pokemon. You can burn physical attackers. You can Sludge Bomb and maybe get lucky like we did today. Grabbing some big time poisons. It just worked out really, really well. We also had Latios today. Latios was great. Use it in third and final battle and it helped win us the match with Reggie Steel. And then the final three Pokemon, Incineroar, Shen, Pal Dragonite. You guys seen plenty of times before. Super, super strong on the rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.